How deadly is icing in a light airplane? Well, there's two types of planes in this world. Those that have de-icing and anti-icing capabilities and can fly through known icing, and those that have basically nothing and are not approved for flight into known icing. Most people usually think that the ice will kill you because it's too heavy, but that's usually not the main issue. An airplane only likes to produce lift when there's smooth airflow over the top of the wing. But when you add icing on top of that wing, it disrupts the smooth airflow. This disruption reduces the airplane's ability to create lift, meaning that your airplane might not be able to fly. So how does ice even form? For you to get icing on your airplane, two things must be true. The airplane's temperature must be below freezing, and you must be flying through visible moisture such as rain, sleet, snow, or most commonly, clouds. Now that we know how ice forms, we need to know why. The main reason is due to super cooled water droplets. Because the droplets of water vapor that form of a cloud are so tiny, their surface tension actually prevents them from freezing. This means that a water droplet can have a temperature below freezing, but still be liquid. Hence, super cooled. At air temperatures of zero to negative 10 Celsius, clouds mainly consist of super cooled water droplets. And if you fly through the cloud and your airplane surface temperature is below freezing, you will get clear icing. This forms when the super cooled water droplet hits your wing, slides back, and then freezes as it's sliding back. Then from negative 15 to negative 20 Celsius, you get what's called rime icing. This forms when the super cooled water droplet hits your wing and instantly freezes. Sometimes this traps air underneath the droplet, which can make it look cloudy. In between the two temperature ranges, you get a mix of both, which is called mixed icing. But below negative 20 Celsius, a cloud is mainly consistent of ice crystals. These mainly just slap your wing and keep on going with their day. But a few will still stick to your airplane, which is called impact icing. This is typically much less severe than rime or clear icing. The main thing to remember is that your airplane surface temperature must be below freezing for ice to form on it. Which means even if you're in a cloud that's above freezing, if your plane temperature is below freezing, which can happen when you're descending from a really high altitude, you will pick up icing. So now that we know all about ice, how on earth do planes defend against all of this? Well, our little airplanes can't, so we don't even try to fly through visible moisture when the temperatures are below freezing. But for the bigger planes, we'll go into the four main ways they defend against icing in our next video.